Hey girls and guys, it's Presley, and today in this video, I'm going to be talking about this book character sees life through poetry. And the book that I'm going to be talking about today is Every Last Word by Tamara Ireland Stone. Now, I'm going to read the back of the book just to give you guys a little bit more summary. Samantha McAllister looks just like the rest of the popular girls in her junior class. But hidden beneath the straight-haired and expertly applied makeup is a secret that her friends would never understand. Sam has purely obsessional OCD and is consumed by a stream of dark thoughts and worries that she can't turn off. Second-guessing every move, thought, and word makes daily life a struggle, and it doesn't help that her lifelong friends will turn toxic at the first sign of a wrong outfit, wrong lunch, or wrong crush. Yet Sam knows that she'll be truly crazy to leave the protection of the most popular girls in school. So when Sam meets Caroline, she has to keep her new friend with a refreshing sense of humor and no style a secret. Right up there with Sam, Weekly visits her psychiatrist. Caroline introduced Sam to Poet's Corner, a hidden room and a tight-knit group of misfits who have been ignored by the school at large. Sam is drawn to them immediately, especially a guitar playing guy with a talent with a talent for verse and starts to discover a whole new side of herself. So slowly she begins to feel more normal than she ever has as a part of the popular uh, crowd until she finds a new reason to question her sanity and all she holds dear. Now, before I get into this you know, talking about this book, there's going to be some spoilers. So if you guys haven't read this book, then um, don't watch this video. So as you already know by the summary, Sam has OCD. She said in the book that it's more um, obsessive than compulsive. So she can control her thoughts and, you know, urges she can hide them pretty well from her friends. And her friends, I feel like she, um, if she told her friends about her OCD, her friends would just, wouldn't understand that because, duh, it's in the summary. So, um, Sam's OCD is a bit different. Like, she likes to do things in threes. She sometimes likes to obsess. Whenever she sees a girl, she, like, looks at them and thinks about how she wants to do their makeup with some blemish and maybe cut their hair or something. She just, she just got some thoughts going down and she sees a psychiatrist for that. And then her, and then her psychiatrist give her, gives her some putty so she won't scratch her neck because she has a thing about scratching her neck, especially in threes. She has an obsession with the number three and the girls that she hangs out with are kind of mean. And when I read this book, this book kind of reminded me of two movies, Dead Poet Society and Mean Girls. The Dead Poet Society, I've seen that movie back in my junior year of high school, and it was an all right movie. And as soon as I know that the character Samantha goes into this group called the Poets Corner, it definitely reminded me of the Dead Poet Society because of those names are similar. Poets Corner, Dead Poet Society, Sounds very similar to me. And um, Mean Girls, because, you know, the main character, Samantha, hangs out with a group of couple of mean girls who like to obs obsess over, like, outfits or if Samantha ha is, like, crushing over somebody. Samantha feels like she doesn't fit in with those popular girls. And she can't leave those popular girls. She even tells her psychiatrist she can't leave the popular girls because she has nowhere else to go. If she leaves the popular girls, which are called the crazy eights in the book, if she leaves them, she's got nowhere else to go. So in like a desperate situation, this girl, Caroline, shows up in Samantha's life and leads her to the poet's corner and as soon as she went inside the poet's corner, which is basically the janitor's closet, she feels somewhat normal when she goes inside the poet's corner. Like, no urge to have, like, those o OCD compul um, compulses or whatever. She feels safe somewhat normal and she gets to know these new group of people she even develops a love interest and at first when I read this book I thought the love interest was a bit more interesting 
than Caroline. But as this, as soon as I found out what's really going on with Caroline, I was shocked because Caroline was a nice person to Samantha, teaching her everything about poetry. And Samantha becomes a whole new different person, kind, caring, hell, even stands up for herself against the crazy eights. She even leaves the Crazy Eights because she wants to be a part of the Poet's Corner. And she does by the end of the book. But the only thing is, I kind of wish that Samantha would just tell her friends about her OCD. I don't know. It's just, I'm surprising that Samantha never did that in the book. She never told her friends, hey, I got OCD. Because um, when when she was in the group with the Crazy Eights, um, when someone leaves the Crazy Eights, like this girl named Sarah or something like that, they end up spreading rumors about Sarah because, you know, Sarah was not a part of the Crazy Eights. And then Samantha just kept on thinking, what if I leave the um, Crazy Eights? And they'd start rumor. I, I mean, like, she doesn't really care about what other people think about her, but as soon as she you know, swaps in between the Crazy Eights and the Poet's Corner. She's torn. She doesn't know what to do. But then she finally decides to leave and go to the Poet's Corner where she really belongs. And then going into the Poet's Corner, she feels like a brand new person, like herself. Like she doesn't have OCD at all. And if any of you guys want to read a book, if you guys have any OCD... Um, this is a good book. I'd say I ranked this book like a 7 out of 10. It's pretty good. And the plot twist about Caroline is really interesting too. And since I'm talking about spoilers, Caroline was actually dead the whole time. So Samantha was talking to a whole ghost. And she never led Samantha to the Poet's Corner. Apparently Samantha led herself down there. It's crazy. I know. I was shocked too. And um, it was crazy. So if you guys want to, you know, read something you can relate to if you have OCD or if you just want to read some young adult novel that you're interested in, go ahead and pick this book up. It's really interesting. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.